Hello everyone and welcome to insanely realistic details in Red Dead Horses. If you play the game, you can see how many of these you already know about and tell me your score in the comments below. Horses poop. I mean, you don't really get more realistic than an animal functioning like a real living being. High step. Horses will step higher when in water or snow to try and decrease the resistance when walking. They will also bounce more in a canter, which is super cute. Male horses' testicles will shrink in the cold. When stallions are in cold weather, their testicles visibly shrink. You can free wagon horses. I personally love this. If you've robbed and, um, dispatched the wagon drivers and passengers, or you just want to steal someone's wagon horse, when the horses are still, you can go up to them and cut them free. I know that many equestrians prefer the thought of a horse being able to be free roam rather than be stuck and attached to a wagon. However, people will consider this horse theft, so make sure you do it when nobody is looking. The player actually kicks its horse to go faster. When you're increasing your speed, your character will visually kick the horse. Horses' coats will shine when they get wet. When it rains or if you take your trusty steed for a swim, its coat will become wet and shiny. Horses can spook and throw their riders. When riding through the vast land, human enemies aren't the only thing you have to worry about. Snakes, alligators, bears, cougars, wolves and more will try and attack the player if you are seen or get too close. Your horse isn't stupid. No matter how strong your bond is, if you push your horse too far, it will dump you on the ground and run, leaving you to fend for yourself. NPCs will notice your horse. If you splash some cash on an expensive horse or steal it, NPCs will notice and verbally compliment you on your mount. You can jump onto your horse from a height or a moving vehicle. If you're in a pickle and you need a fast getaway but you're in an awkward position like on a roof, a balcony or even a train, if you position yourself in the right way, you can jump straight onto the saddle of a horse below. However, if you are in a moving vehicle, you want the horse you're jumping onto to be your saddle horse so you can whistle for it. Pretty badass though. Horses will try and shake off flies. In hot and dry climates, you will notice these black bugs flying around everywhere. These bugs will bother your horse and will cause it to shake and whip its tail to try and get them away. Horses will graze. Even if you have a trained and broken horse, if you leave them on a nice grassy patch and move away, eventually they will relax and begin to munch. If you leave your horse in water, it will move to dry land. I'm sure if somebody told you to stand and wait in a river, you'd prefer to just stand on the bank. This is the same for horses. If you leave them standing in the water, they will trot to the bank and wait there. Horses will become visibly tired. Horses have an energy level that you can fill by feeding them or getting off and letting them rest. But as you ride, gallop, or even just sit on your horse, it will become more tired. If it becomes too tired, it will have a lower headset and struggle to stand. If you try moving when the horse is incredibly tired, it will be very slow and stagger along. Horses will kick you. If a horse doesn't know you or you aggravate it too much, it will become freaked out. And if you don't let up, it might even kick you, which in some cases will be fatal, especially if it's to the head. You can see your horse's breath in the cold. Other NPCs do this too, but I thought it was particularly amazing that they included this with the horses. When you're in a cold area, because of the temperature drop, your horse's breath will become visible. Horses will become muddy or dirty. As you ride, your horse will become dirty. If you ride through particularly muddy areas, you will see the mud begin to form around the legs and the body. 
Steamy horses. When you gallop from a cold area to a warmer area, your horse will steam as the sweat from it will evaporate. Horses can drink water. This is usually just NPC horses, but if a horse is near a trough, it will walk over and occasionally drink. Two people can ride on a horse. You can pick up passengers on your horse, whether it be a damsel in distress, a friend in need of a ride, or a bounty hogtied on its way to jail. Shrubbery will cause horses to throw their heads and sometimes whinny. When running through bushes, shrubbery, and nearby cacti, horses will become mildly annoyed and sometimes vocalize this. Wild horses will play and roam free together. When observing horses in the wild, they will stay together in small herds where they move, graze, lay down, and even roll. If any human NPC or player gets too close, the herd will run away. You can lead another horse using the lasso. If you have a tamed horse and wish to feel like a real cowboy, you can ride your saddle horse and then lasso the other one. You won't lose stamina like you do on the ground, so you can traverse the land with your trusty steed in tow. Horses have personalities. This is a pretty complex mechanic, but simplified. Some horses will be more spooky than others, some behave better around wild animals, some behave worse around gunfire, and some horses will dump you on the ground the first chance they get. Wild horses need to be tamed. If you try and mount a wild horse, it will kick and try and buck you off until you break it, where it will then be aggravated and you must calm it down further before you can bond with it. No spirit riding free or the black stallion insta-bonding here. Horses will begin to like you. This is one of my favorite little details. When you first get your horse, when you're patting or stroking it, it will simply stand and accept the action. But once you've fully bonded with your horse, it will really enjoy your pats and will stretch its neck out to show its happiness. And that is it for insane details in horses in Red Dead. How many did you know? And did I miss any? Let me know in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoyed, stay positive and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!